What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, I'm back again. Story time. Oh, man. This is one of them ones. This right here, this right here, one of them ones, man. I got myself caught. Well, I ain't going to say I got myself caught in, in a trap. I almost got myself caught in a trap, man. I almost got myself caught in a trap. Man, y'all check this out. I'm telling this one, man, because I know a situation. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. But anyway, I know a situation, man, one of my homies got caught up being. And we was just talking about it. And I was telling him, I'm like, hey, cuz, I said, man, uh, I had a situation similar to that happen to me. He was like, dang, what happened? And I was telling him about it. I was telling him, I said, man, you know what, man? I'm going I'm to I'm tell the foundation about that story. I'm going to tell the foundation about it. I'm going to tell the foundation about it. And um, he was like, man, what the heck is <laughs> Man, my partner was like, man, what the heck is the foundation? I said, man, that's what, that's what, um, on my YouTube channel, that's the name of my crew. That's you like your crew. I said, man, everybody that's down with me on this on this YouTube world, um, the my my my, my little click, my little thing is called the Foundation Nation. Everybody got their little, you know what I'm saying, whatever they got. You know, like Kev Mac got the Mac heads and the maniacs, and you know what I'm saying, uh Melly Mel got uh what do you call them, the mail room goons and you know, stuff like that. So anyway. Uh, I was explaining that to him. He was like, man, whatever, man. I, I ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? He wanted them cats don't care nothing about social media, period. You know, which is cool. But anyway, on to the story of what happened. Now, my partner, he going through an issue with his girl, her cousin, and her cousin's friend. <sighs> Sticky wicky wicky. My situation was similar to what they got going on, but my situation was with a girl that I met when I got out of prison one time and her daughter. Now, as I told y'all before, you know, moms kicked me out <clears throat> when I was 14. Didn't live with her no more. You know, I'd come through and visit, kick it, stuff like that. But as far as living with her, no, nah, she wasn't having it. I was banging too hard. You know what I'm saying? Houses getting shot up and all that. She was like, no. Nah. She was in fear for my sister's life. Uh, didn't want me around. You know, she just didn't want me around, which, and you know, now I, I can see why. Back then I couldn't, but you know, it was it was a smart decision to get rid of me because I was off the meat hook. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was out there like I was boy looking, whoo, boy. Gang bang central. I was like they say, what they used to call me back in the day, robo banger, you know? But anyway, um, so what I would do when I would get out of jail, I would always, if, you know, try to knock a female while I was in jail, you know, writing back and forth. I'm cold with that ink pen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got that calligraphy handwriting. Man, I knock a broad in mid-flight on the darkest night just through a letter, through paper. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't write no, I didn't write no short letters. You know, my letters was eight pages or more every time I wrote. I get down. Of course, I write big, though, you know. Anyway, either I would knock him while I was in and then, you know, go home straight to him or I while I when I get out, you know what I'm saying? I probably hook up with an old flame that going to let me lay my head for a couple of, you know, couple of days whatever. Go over here for a couple of days, over there for, you know what I'm saying? Till I knock me something, you know what I'm saying? I was on the hunt. I stayed on the hunt cuz I had to, you know, put a roof over my head. But anyway, um this was this was a female that I knocked when I got out. Um, I was in, I was in, my, you know what I'm saying? I was in my twenties and uh, she was in her early forties. Now I've always liked older women. If y'all remember from some of my other stories, I tell you, I always did like older women. Mm, mm, some about them, some about them cougars, boy, them cougars, the mountain lions, or whatever you want to call them. Man, I love, man, man, tune, love him. Some old cat, you know, back then, you know, I'm married now, you know, but anyway, um, I met her when I got out 
We used to have an old poop butt hole in the wall um, club in our set back in the day. Right there, right there. The club was right there on like, uh, it was on San Pedro. It was on San Pedro wall in Vernon. Well, it was on either on, was that San Pedro or wall? One of them, little hole in the wall club. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I met her, I met her, I met her around up right there. And uh, we went to talking, you know, of course, you know, I was back back in the day, I was a specimen. So any any female that you know what I'm saying, I wanted <laughs> boom, here they come. Anyway, so what I always shoot for is the move in shot. And so she let me move in. She let me move in. She had a daughter. Her daughter, daughter, I forget her name. She had a 19-year-old daughter. Fast. I'm talking about out the bed. I'm talking about man, fast, off the chain fast. Um I I can say, yeah, we got along. We got we was cool. We was cool. You know, I had, you know, you know, we didn't have no, no problems with her. Just that we, you know, we was kind of close in age. Um, I was in my mid twenties, and she was in, like, she was nineteen, and I was in my mid twenties. You know, like twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, somewhere up in there, kind of mid to late twenties, whatever. But um, lo and behold, she liked me, y'all. She liked me, and I don't even know if she liked me. I don't need if you know what I don't. I can't say if she really liked me or not. She act like she did. But in hindsight, what it is, what I peeped is what a lot of mothers and daughters go through, especially when they when they got the when they mama still in the street, still running, ripping and running, and they got these daughters, these old fast tail daughters. You know what I'm saying? Got these old fast tail daughters that you know what I'm saying they out there like that. You know what I'm saying? They 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 want to compete for boys. They want to do all this, and this was the situation that I fell into when I got out. And it tripped me out because I had seen situations like this on TV. I seen these type of situations on TV. So I'm like, dang, I'm, you know, but now I didn't know I, it was finna hit me. Anyway, <clears throat> I end up moving in. So I end up moving in. Um, and everything went good for about the first two weeks. Everything was straight. No problem. You know what I'm saying? Just, just kicking it. Um, every time her mama was gone, she coming with the BS. She gets, she jumped immediately on the bull. Um, you know, hit me with questions like, uh, you ain't got no other homies that look like you. No. Um, well, dang, if, 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 uh, if you ain't got no other homies look like you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you might have to do. A what? A yeah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But the question start. You know what I'm saying? A little sly over over the days that that was coming. Um, little sly remarks, a little sly comments. Um, you know I'm grown. I'm like, you know what you're telling me, for home girl. Um, you know I can do anything my mama can do. All right. Well, you know. All right. Well, whatever. You know. Um. Then it got to the point where she got straight up bold with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you get tired of her, you know, any given time, I'm here. So I'm like, man, I'm looking at I'm looking at the fact. Now she looked it good though. Ain't ain't no look, first off, let me tell y'all now. I'm not finna sit up here and act like I was no godly saint. Cause I wasn't. But now only thing I, I was looking at the bigger picture. The bigger picture was if I piss her mama off, I'm finna get kicked out the spot. And I ain't got no place else to go. I didn't want to lose the roof over my head just to mess with her, with this little young girl. You know what I'm saying? Bad though she was. You know, both her and her mama had them tig old bitties. So, you know, I'm like, yeah, I said, nah, you know, I got to the point. Man, look, our conversation started getting so explicit where she just started propositioning me. And I'm steadily telling her, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? I mess with your mama. I'm going to get down like that. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah, my mama can't do this better than me. And my mama can't do that better than me. And wah, 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 wah. So look, I got to the point, you know, it got to the point where I went on and told her mama one day. I'm like, hey, look, check this out. Man, your daughter, you know what I'm saying? She she trying this, this, and this. Whoop, bop, de bam, scoop, bop, de wham, you know? So uh, her mama like, what? I'm going to check this little B-I-T-C-H and whoop, whoop, whoop. 
They go to arguing. Woo, woo, woo. They going at it. Man, they, you know, and which I've seen them argue before. It, but, you know, trip me out. Trip me out. Um, to see, you know, you know, mother and daughter call each other names and cuss each other out and be tripping. And it wasn't up but them two in the house. She had a brother, but he was in the pen. So um they 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 would go at it. They would go at it sometimes. And so, you know, her mama on her head about, man, you better not get get my man face no more. He don't want your stinking raggedy behind. You out here selling, you, you know, selling. She said P-U-S-S-Y. -S but I'm going to say cat. She out here, you out here selling and slinging your cat all up and down the street. Don't nobody want him telling what you got. Don't worry about my man. Don't worry about him. You, you, look, you women out there, y'all know that the type of arguments <clears throat> that y'all going to have with your, with your, with your, with your daughter on that type of stuff, or your sister, or your mamas, you know what I'm saying, whatever, however it went, you know, boom, 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 so, um, I'm like, dang, so she'll come back in, man, you, that's right, you, you, anytime, it, it, anytime she tries something, let me know, let me know, just let me know, let me know, I'm like, okay, don't trip, I'm gonna let you know, because I, you know, I wasn't finna get kicked out, not me, not I, says the fat guy, you know, man, listen, one day, now this now this tripped me out. One day, her daughter's supposed to be gone. No matter well, she was gone, but she wasn't supposed to be coming back. So now, when you come in the house, you can come in the house downstairs. But when you come upstairs, as soon as you get to the top, as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, um, you, it, they, it's not it's not a living room, but it's a uh, I don't know, it's a little sitting area. They had a TV sitting right here. It was a TV right there, and um, it was a couch. It was a long couch. It was a little table, you know. Boom. Then you can go down the hallway to the uh to the bedrooms. It was it was a three bedroom house, nice house. You can go down. You can go down the hallway to the uh to the bedroom, and boom, 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 boom. You know, bathrooms upstairs, downstairs. It it was two bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs. Um, but when you come when you come up the stairs, you are gonna come see this little room right here. Before you can go down this hallway and turn left or right, going to the um the bedrooms or the bathroom, stuff like you know, stuff like that. So man, one one night, me and her mama on the couch, we handling our business. Man, we handling our, I ain't gonna even lie. We didn't even wait to go to the room. We handling our business. So now her her mama on her back. You know what I'm saying? We you know missionary mama looking up in my face, but. I didn't hear the door open up downstairs. You're not going to hear, cause the TV was on anyway. So you're not going to hear somebody coming into the house. It wasn't like they had no alarm or nothing like that. I didn't hear none of that. I didn't hear it. Um, what I but And so what I did hear was when somebody said, oh, like that. Her mama didn't hear it because at the time her mama going through it. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is what it is, well, what it was. It's gonna be what it gonna be or see. But anyway, her mama didn't her mama didn't hear. It. So now, with me being on top, I, I look I look straight ahead to where the stairs come up at the top. Her daughter standing right there. She ain't at the top of the stairs, but she on the stairs. She she far enough up the stairs to where I can see her from like from like here up and she watched, she looking at us. She made direct eye contact with me. So and my first mind, I was feeling like stopping, like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Tell her mama, like, oh, shoot, man, your daughter here, man, you know, let's go to the room. Man, some old freak stuff come over me, though, because the way her daughter's just standing there looking, her daughter was like looking. Then her, her daughter backed up a little bit and kind of got low to where, like, here, she just looking. She just looking, man, she looking. And I, I ain't going to even lie, man, that turned me on. That what, what? Man, I don't know what it did to me. But I turned into Sonic the Hedgehog. I went into overdrive. Cause I'm and I'm looking, I'm looking dead in her daughter's eyes. I'm looking dead in her daughter's eyes, and her daughter looking dead at me. And I'm hitting her mama. Boom, boom, boom. Mama hold me. Legs in the air and all that. And I showed up. I showed up, go to hitting it then. I'm looking dead at her. She just looking at me. That's just like like licking. She wasn't licking her lips, but it was like she was like, like eating the scene up, like, dang, you know? Man, I sit there and punished her mama. She turned around and left. Boy, that that right there opened up a can of worms. Man, that opened up a can of worms. 
It opened up a can of worms. The first time she had a chance to get me by herself, she was like, oh, no, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? I seen that. I said, I know you seen it. I was, we looking dead at each other. She was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. she said, uh-uh, you going to F me like that. You going to F me just like that. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing none of that with you. Mm -mm. Why? You know, she wanted to get, I, she wanted, man, she, the girl, the girl got to the point like she looked, she looked and act like she wanted to attack your big partner. <clears throat> but I was like, no, no, no. <clears throat> She said, you're going to come clean. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna come clean. You're going to come clean. I'm like, no, I'm not. Mm -mm. Time goes on, man. I'm About a month go by. <coughs> it didn't last long. It wasn't, it, I wasn't there long now. Right, dang, I told you. But anyway, look. I never told her mother that she watched us that night. I never told her. I didn't want to tell her that. I never want to, because, you know, I I know what it was going to turn into. It wasn't just going to turn into her arguing with her daughter. I'm already knowing she would have flipped the script on me and been tripping like, why you didn't tell me you seen her? She watched us and you didn't say nothing? Why you didn't, why you, no, uh-uh. I ain't finna go through none of that. Like I told you, only thing on my mind was having a roof over my head. I wasn't studying her or her daughter for real. You know what I'm saying? Now, around that time, I had already started looking for me another spot. I'd already started looking for me another female. Because that's what I would do. Because I know how females get, man, when you living with a man. Oh, my goodness, man. I will never go through that again, man. Fellas, y'all know, man, it get hard on us when you living up, you living up, under, your, uh, under, up under a female roof, man, that, under your girl roof. They go to talking that get a job. They go to talking that paying bills. You ain't paying no bills around here. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they go to popping off, and uh, uh, the first thing, you get out. Get out. Get out my house. Get out. Um, You know, the, the calling the police and the, the throwing your clothes out in the front yard and all of those stupid stuff or putting them in the bathtub, wanting to pour bleach on them or, man, trying to burn them up. All that old dumb stuff, man, women be doing. Um. But they hit you with that get out quick. Now, here it is. Man, what you going to do when you're in a position, they tell you to get out and you ain't got no place to go. Ooh we wasn't going to let them get me like that, man. That's why I kept me one in the chamber. Bump that. I had a female tell me, about, man, you get out. Matter of fact, get out. Oh, do tell. Oh, do tell. Okay. Man, I grabbed my phone book. Went to looking. Went to looking. Shh. What you think you know? I'm look, look, I'm finna go. Hold on. I'm finna go. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna go, go gadget. I'm finna go, go gadget. So, um, Im immediately my thing is, I'm, the, the other female that I'm fooling with, what's the first name? Uh, uh, you, um, you ain't got to stay over there with her. I don't want you over there anyway. Come be with me. Come stay with me. You be like, no, no, no. I ain't going to, man, you can come stay with me. You can come stay with me. Mm. I say, when soon as she go to tripping, I'll be over there. And that's what I would do, man. One of, man, hey, look, hey, man, they run, hey, man, women run like the bus to me. That we say back in the day, they run like the bus every 15 minutes, homie. You feel what I'm saying? All you got to do is look like a little summer, have a mouthpiece on you and keep them, keep, keep one waiting in the wings and let her know, hey, look, when she, we doing what we doing, but when she go to tripping, I'm, you going to, I'm going to call you, come get me. I, I'm coming over there with you. And they be waiting. And so, boom, that's what I would go through. But now that's why around that time when this was happening with her, that's I that's when I said, Oh, time for me to find something else. Cause this situation, it, this situation, this situation ain't right. Situation ain't right. I know I'm gonna have to get up out of here, you know. So um about it, it about the month, about about a month and some change hit. You know what I'm saying? A couple of month and a couple of days it hit. And you know what I'm saying, stuff was going good, stuff was going good. But now the daughter was pressing me hard, you know what I'm saying? Daughter was pressing me hard, man. The daughter was pressing me hard. So um, I said, man, when it's time to go, it's time to go. I left. You know, it ain't, this ain't no big old ooh wee dramatic story. You know what I'm saying? Other than everything I done told you so far, I knew it was time for me to go, and I wasn't finna get caught up in the trick bag. Not me. I wasn't. Not, I 
My thing in my mind, I was thinking, you know what? They both going to turn on me. They both going to turn on me. And and, and it's going to be and it's going to be some police stuff involved right here. And I'm not now. Nah, I'm not now. Nah. My mama, my mama ain't raised no fools. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some police stuff right here. I need to get up out of here. I need to go. I need to go. Because see, I know y'all say, that, that, you know, they ain't tuned. You know, it wasn't that bad. No, it was way, it was way worse than what I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not giving y'all all the details. I'm just not giving you all the detail. But when I tell you it was time for me to go, oh yeah, it was time for me to go. You feel what I'm saying? It was time for me to go. I'll give you one of the details. I tell um, I tell my mama, uh, you let me suck your woo woo wham. I'm like, man, man, I'm like, I'm like, man, little old hoe, you lying. You ain't did nothing with me. So what? I tell her that. What you think she gonna do with you then? Who you think she gonna believe? That type, so you know, it ain't got to that type thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man. So the first thing hit my mind, shoot, man, these many hoes gonna try to put me in jail or something. I ain't going for it. No, I'm finna go. So around that time, I went to look. I went to look for me another humble abode. I, 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 that's what I did. So I knocked me another little female. Told her I said, "Look, I'm finna, I'm finna move out with old girl." You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's one thing I do. I used to do back then. I meet a, I, I meet, I meet a woman, and you know back then, you know females should always ask, uh, "Where your woman at?" And I guess what I, I at home. Oh, you what you mean at at home you. You asked me where my woman was, and I just told you she at home. Oh, if you got a woman, why you all up in my face trying to talk to me? Because I like you. You look good. But you got a woman, and you probably got a man. I'm not showing you if you got a man. I could care less if you got a man. It don't even make me no difference if you got a man or not. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deal with you. I let you know that I got a woman. I say, and I tell her, I say, this is what you're going to get fooling with me. You ain't gotta never worry about me lying to you, trying to um, trying to pull a, a wool over your eyes. I'm give I'm gonna give it to you as is every time. You gonna always know what you are getting when you are dealing with me. Yeah, I got a woman at home, but now I like what I see in you, and I'm trying to deal with you too. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. You know, it's a hit or miss. You take a chance. One thing you know, on the times that it did work. At least you know you ain't got to be jumped through no hoops trying to hide hide your girl and all this old stuff. No, nah, she know. So she know how to play her role. She know how to stay in her place. I done told you from the giddy up, I got a woman. Don't come acting foolishness. Then you got the ones that, hold on, let me. then you got the ones that'll get at you. That'll get at you. And you tell them off the rip. Like, yeah, you know, all right, all right, baby girl, I hear you, you know what I'm saying, but now check this out. Let you know off the rip. Hey, hey, hey you know, I, you know, I got a woman. I got a woman. You know what I'm saying? Me and my woman live together. Uh, you know, they be wanting you so bad. I know some of you fellas out there that been to this. They be wanting you so bad. They be on some, oh, I ain't going to trip. I, you know, cool. I, I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Hey, you know, they swept down. You be like, like hey, hey, look, ain't no falling in love and all this and that. Because I'll let you know I got a woman. Oh, I ain't gonna do all that. We just having fun and wop, 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 wham. Cool. Lies. Always lies. Nine and a half times out of ten, they lying. No sooner you put it down on them. Wham, 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 wham. That's why they tell you now, don't give it all to them. Just give them some. Don't give it all to them. But no sooner as you put it all the way down, look, just a few little time go past. And they feel it, they women. They they can't control their feelings and emotions. You know, the majority of them can't. And no sooner they feelings and emotions get caught up, there they go. There they go. See, it's one thing, homie. Dealing with a woman on a in a platonic relationship. And for y'all who don't know what the word platonic means, it means in a sexless relationship. A relationship with a female where ain't no sex involved. That's one thing. That's what dealing with that type of situation is one thing. But when 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 you when 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 you when you when you when you when, hey, when you bust through the pearly gates on one of them up here, man, women go cuckoo for cocoa puffs. They out of there, man. I'm talking about sex is a very strong control mechanism when dealing with women. You know, a lot of times women um they equate sex with love. 
You put it down on them good. Oh, oh you, you you just told them you ain't even said nothing about you love them. But you put it down so good, you just told them you love them in their mind. You know what I'm saying? Now they want to have your baby. <laughs> anyway. So they be lying. They go to talk about, oh, oh, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna trip. They ain't gonna be no bugaboo. No sooner you put it on them, and now they done fell in love, you can't get rid of them. They threatening to mess your relationship up. They threaten to pop up on the front porch, go to lying about pregnancies, and they they uh you you gonna leave her and be with me? No, we ain't doing this no more. You gotta leave her and come be with me. And da 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 da. Oh, man, good God Almighty. I never should have jumped into that fountain of youth right there. You know what I'm saying? That kid. But anyway, it happens. Um, so the same thing with them. Once I once I bust me a new a female, I was leaving. I was leaving. And I left. I left. I didn't even tell old girl I was leaving. Did the, uh, her or or her or her uh freaked out daughter. Cause she worked. Her daughter be running the streets and the and the woman worked. She came home one day and I was gone. I was gone. Had old girl come pick me up. But now I wasn't going to say nothing, <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. <clears throat> it was about, it was about four days later. I got in contact. I went, I went back. I didn't go back to the house, but I went back and got in contact with her daughter. Tore her up. Got her. You know? I'm like, cause in my mind, I'm like, man, why don't you owe me? You owe me this cat. You put you put me in a in an uncomfortable position where I had to end up leaving. Cause there was some police talk going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving stuff out, you know, for me to just jump up and leave. Like it was all type, it was some police stuff. You wasn't y'all, you weren't finna lie on me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. I don't hit women. I don't take cat. I don't do none of that. And I'm not finna be in the position to have to defend myself. From none of that, you know, time for me to go. But anyway, man, after a few more, I went back and found her daughter, boy, and bam, I, yeah, yeah. Mm. And it was worth it. But anyway, <laughs> it's me, man, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, uh, at the end of the day, man, do what you're supposed to do, homie, and that's stay above ground. Stay above ground. I represent the gangsters, homie. The Avalon guys. I'm out. Peace.